Who's this guy? What's up? This life coach, Weo Lopez. Coming right in. Coming right in, in for work. Right in, right in for work to support a young work. fella. You know how we cook today? Oh yeah, we got breakfast jumping off today. We're gonna hook it up today. Yeah. Right here at the house. Some morning fans, some community uh, interns, right? Yeah, we're doing big things. Sometimes we get together, we do barbecues on this grill on the side right here. Barbecue spot. Take us in, take us in. Take us in. Welcome to the house. Take us in. Welcome to the house. Take us in. Take us in. Take us in. Take us in. I'm a Vardy fan, I'm an ARC member, and I'm also living at ARC Housing. So let me tell you about the housing real quick. Everyone in this house has a key to access the front gate and this front door. We also have keys to access our own room, and some rooms do have key codes to enter the room. This house is also protected by some cameras you see in the corner, and also a green camera in the front door. Just in case nobody has keys, they can press it. Staff can see who's in the front door, and they can all enter and leave out. Also, there's a front gate where people have some cars. We have clickers to open that gate. Yo, we want to walk the back. There's limited access, but some people do have cars, including myself, that we all go back here. The laundry room is also in the back right here. We got a little basketball court. In the garage right here, there's a little gym that people can go and work out and use weights and stuff. But this is the back. Laundry room. And that's Leo right there. No. Oh. So right here, right now we have three rooms on the bottom floor. Two people can live in each room and all three of these rooms have bathrooms inside of them. Wait, so where's the, where's the, there's one right here? Yeah, there's one room right here. One room right here, two people live in there, right? Yeah. Bathroom. That room and then these two rooms right here. And they all have their own bathrooms, right? Yeah, and there's one storage freezer that we place like in that hallway. And these are the type of secure. They have keys? Everybody has keys? Uh, everyone does have keys, but most of the time the people who have codes, they just use their codes. Or oh, codes. Some rooms don't have the codes, they have keys. Some rooms have only keys, some rooms have codes. That's the staff office right there. And so Will is one of our staff, right? And then this is the... the the staff office for Come this way. This is the kitchen in the house. Access 24/7. And then also there's a camera located in the corner. The camera just to make sure no one steals anybody's food because we have two fridges and there's space <laughs> for people to keep their food in. One fridge, two fridge. And there's also many other utensils, cooking utensils that we could use. And the fridges are for members. And yeah, what is this right here? What, is that right here? This is this, oh, that is another staff room. Staff who lives here. And there's a room in the corner too, but they use it for holding supplies and stuff. So every morning members come and eat? Every, some, we're, we're starting a routine where everyone can come down and eat when we have certain cooks here. Okay. Which is me! I'm a cook! This is the house, these are the stairs you go up to, there's a set of stairs right here that take you to three rooms. And half bathroom, your stairs right here that leads you to like five rooms right here, and then the bathroom to your right. This is Juan Carlos right here, this is also an ARC member. 
So we have two rooms right here and two rooms right there. We also have two rooms to your right, right here. We have a bathroom to your right. And then you walk all the way down, there's a, door, there's a room to your left. No, not that, that's the exit. That's the emergency exit. No, this is, uh, that's just a supply closet. A room? That's a room. And to your left is a room, and straight down is a room. And there's a bathroom to the left. Room, room. That's the third floor? There's another room here? Yeah, so those two are rooms. And these are single rooms. Single room. There's four single rooms. There's three computers, you have a little computer lab up here, a little library people can read from. And then you have the, the hangout area. Yeah, this is the hangout area. Some sofas, some couches. We got another bathroom right here. This is where you have groups too? Yeah, and this is where we also have community groups. Community groups. Community dinners, and then let me show you the last room. The last room is a music studio where you can come in and work on music if they want. Nice. We over here all the time or? Uh, sometimes. Another bathroom. Another room right here. And my roommate is right behind you. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna pick my room quick. Um, so this, this is how the rooms look, basically, right? Yeah, literally, I, like, we're all boys. <laughs> Keep it clean, but messy, but really clean. <laughs> That's right. No dirty smells come from the room. Nice. And so you are living comfortably, living large. Office. Yeah, so this is my office right here. This is where all the magic happens. This is where I have my weekly one-on-ones -on with the guys. We set up the, the guys' goals or uh, educational, you know, plans or work employment plans, and then uh, this is where it all starts right here. So this is my office space right here. Yes, yeah, so this is where I meet with the guys. He would, put, he would come in here and I uh, just want to talk or get something off their mind. Right yeah, so uh, so at any given time, we could have about like 22 members here at the house. At the moment, we got about 13, mainly the DJ youth, but we also have a, a few parolees from the state prison, but the majority are, are from DJ. So uh, that's what we do all for more of one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Uh, yeah, so one of the requirements to be here in the house is uh, we do have some agreements that you have to, you know, agree. They're not rules, so it's, it is a choice that if you want to be here, these are the things that you have to uh, accept and want to do, which is uh, savings. So what that is is uh, when you're working, you know, saving 50% of your income. And what we do is we hold that 50% of your income. So once you leave out of here, you can move into your own place, buy a car, whatever it is that you need that money. So we, you know, we try to set up a budget plan. Uh, another one of the agreements is that we have a 10 o'clock curfew which means you know you gotta be home by 10 o'clock. Uh, and then we do have weekend passes, so then that way you can, you can go spend some time with your family. Another one, another big agreement is being drug free. So that's another thing that we tell our guys, that you can remain drug free, be sober and live here. Then uh, we definitely want you to come here. And also, you know, somebody that is, you know, seeking support, guidance, so that's why, you know, if you know, because sometimes you have guys like, oh, no, I, you know, I know everything, uh, what I want to do in my life. Uh, but here it's like more of somebody that needs guidance, like, hey, what do you think about this? Come and talk to us before you make that decision, like purchasing the car, uh, signing up for school, because there are schools that, uh, you know, put you in the debt 
So we want to make sure that before you do make these big decisions, you can come and communicate with, with your life coach or also program coordinator. We have a couple of RAs here as well that the uh, guys have access to. Just, you know, when, whatever kind of advice or information you need. But yeah, those are some of the biggest agreements here. Uh, residential advisor. So we have two of them and they both live here at the house. So uh, the full-time RA is more of uh, just, you know, seeing things that are need to get fixed around the house. If there's an issue with one of the members here, then, you know, they take, you know, they usually go to him to try to, uh, you know, try to fix whatever it is that's going on. Um, and we also have a part-time RA, which is more of a, since he comes from DJJ, he's more of their, uh, kind of like the peer. So he kind of takes them out and out. He's going to play basketball, you know, just do the fun stuff with them. But, uh, but yeah, they both live here in the house and just somebody, in case any, because for me, I leave out of here by five o'clock, I'm out of here. So the RA stay here in case anything could happen overnight or just at any time of the day, they're on call pretty much. So the RAs are actually members that live yeah. here? Yeah, they're members that, you know, are, are site staff positions and getting paid to live here. And what is your title? Your order? So my, I'm a life coach here. And, and so the majority of the time, I, you know, weekly I meet with the members, but of course there's other times where something might come up where they need some extra support and pretty much that's what I'm here for to make sure that they get the support that they need and uh, you know that they find employment, that they sign up for school, whatever it is that they, again, the goals are. I'm just here to put them with an extra push and support them through it all. My name is Martin Fan. I got released from the county jail. Thankfully, the Prop 57 it allowed me a chance to not go to DJJ and get released into community. And ARC has taken upon the chance of housing me at, here at their housing. And I can say that when I first arrived at this housing, I was thankful, but then still yet cautious of how things were gonna be ran here. And I've been living here at Magnolia House for about six months already. And the living situation here is, is great. It's, we live rent free. You know, the only thing that's mandatory of is that we have to save half of what we make and put into our savings in order for us to stay here. But normally those are really the only two main things. Of course, I'm not doing drugs, but then there's also little rules that you do have to follow, like coming back here at a certain time, being nice to everybody, you know, really cleaning the space that you're in, a public space, but yeah, that's the living situation we have here at the house. Thank you.